All right, so how's everybody? Well, I'm good. How are you? Doing two great. Yeah, I tell you what, we've had two good days. You've got a, basically a brand new quarterback room almost. Like, what's standing out about those guys, and, and what do you like about them? Well, I tell you what, it's a great room. Um, first off, bringing in four new quarterbacks, you know, uh, they have really worked well together. Uh, I think they're having a lot of fun together. They're competing with each other. Um, it's a great room, you know. John DiBiasso and the new guys, uh, they've put a lot of time and effort into it. They've, they had great preparation, you know, in the off season for uh, spring practice. Uh, really proud and pleased with the group that we have. The, the, the quarterbacks are new, but you do have a lot of returning guys at other positions on offense. You know, can you see that these guys have been through the offense for a year, that they've got familiarity with the playbook? Can you, can you, is it different this year than it was? Last yeah, it's spring? totally different. You know what? Last year at this time, we went through a methodical installation, install one, install two. We felt like we had to get the uh, personality of the run game going early in camp last year. You know, this year, really, we're picking up from the UCLA game. If you take a look at our installation, we probably have 60% of the offense in today. You know, whether, whether that's the, the base run game, the base pass game, uh, the systems of no huddle that we use. So the players, I think, have really enjoyed it because we're not holding them back going through methodical installations. You know, uh, we come out here and we play ball. The other thing that I can tell, and all of us can tell as offensive coaches, is that our players know what they're doing. You know, take a look at the receiver group. Last year at this time, it was a methodical installation. They were learning a new system. And when you look at guys like Bob Means and Tay, you can not only see that they know exactly what they're doing, but you see the leadership and, and what a great job they're doing uh, helping others through it. What percentage would you say you had in after day two last year? You said 60% Oh, today. maybe about 15%. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we, we were teaching the run game. We were teaching... Uh, the system of the run game, the system of the protection game, you know, the, the passes. It was very methodical going through, let's say it was 10 installations last year because we had a system to teach. Well, the system's been taught, you know, and the players know the system. So as coaches, we don't ever want to hold them back. We want to come out here and play football as fast as we can. You know, so when you looked at uh, practice one and two, you saw a lot of offense, you saw a lot of volume, and you saw different styles of styles of play. And that's a tribute to the players. They've done such a great job preparing and playing. What's it like having Phil back and, and working with him again? Well, first off, it's great always being around players that you've been with in the past. Um, got great respect for Phil as a person and as a player. Um, always happy for guys to come home. Like, I got a chance last year to come home. You know, Phil being a Pittsburgh kid. And I'm really proud of the growth and maturity that I've seen in him as a person and as a player. And once again, it's a great room. You know, those guys are really working well together. Uh, they're having fun and they're competing. You said there was some growth for, for Phil based on, you know, when you saw him last but now, but what's different about Phil based on when he was at Boston College versus now? I see, you know, technically this would be thirds uh, Phil's third year in this system with myself. Mm -hmm. And I can just see that he has played in it. He knows the calls. Uh, he knows what to do. He's made very good decisions. He's been decisive with the ball. Obviously, his athleticism shows up, whether, whether it's in the run game or the scramble phase that you've seen the first two days. And I've seen a growth and maturity in him in terms of leadership. He's always been the ultimate competitor. Um, but you've seen the maturity that you just love to see in all of these players as they go through this time time in their life. What do you see from Christian and Nate as they kind of battle? I tell you what, two great guys. Obviously, as you stand out here and watch Christian, he's been blessed with talent, you know, as the whole group has. Christian throws a beautiful ball. The ball spins so pretty. He's got a nice live body. He's smart and puts a lot of time and effort into it. You know, like we said, when uh, when Phil came in and Christian came in, they knew that, hey, there would be a competition here, you know, between Phil, Christian, and Nate. And I think those guys have worked well together. They've done a great job out here through two practices, and it's a talented group. How is maybe this competition different than last year's competition with, with Keaton and Nick? 
opposed to just dynamic wise with three guys opposed to two guys last year? Well, it's different because you got three guys in the mix, truly. You know, last year at this time, Nate, Nate wasn't even practicing. We didn't even know who Nate was yet, you know? And you got guys like last year that have won, won football games before. You know, just like last year when you, when we had Keaton and Nick, you know, they had some experience to them. And we're fortunate enough this year where Phil and uh, Christian, hey, they've won games. Phil's won a lot of games. Christian beat Rockers up there at Penn State and Nate beat Western Michigan. You know, we were one of only a few teams last year that won, won football games with three different quarterbacks. And uh, we got a great group. You had two guys switch positions going from offense or from defense to offense, Dorian and, and Javante. What did you like about their skill sets that made them uh, fitting for that change? Yeah, you know what? They're, they're great kids. They're really good players. Uh, the defense liked those guys a lot too. You know, when you look at Dorian Ford, we just loved his, his measurables to be an offensive lineman. We loved his mental makeup, um, his toughness. Uh, he's a guy that, hey, since I've been here, we talked about a lot. I know, you know, Coach Partridge uh, loves Dorian too, and we're happy to have him. Then Javante, man, look at his measurables once again. You know, the height, the range, the length, the speed, and uh, you know, this spring will be big for those two guys. Put a couple more, and then we'll get to our players waiting in the wings. Anything else? No. Coach.